Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Lightning Web Components. Uh, in the previous session, we saw how we can pass parameters from LWC to Apex using the wire adapter. But in this one, we'll see how you can pass parameters using the imperative method. All right, so I have listed down a scenario over here. So in the previous one, what we were doing, we were just displaying accounts and then we had a search bar. And when we were actually typing in something, then it was searching as per the account name and displaying the results at the lifetime, right? But as we are using the imperative method, in imperative method, you always have to, uh, like, you know, you will always get the results based on some click action. So that is why I have created a button over here. So initially what will happen, you should only have this search bar and this button. And when you actually type in something into the search bar, then as per the search, characters that you're typing, the results should be displayed as per the search. All right. So let's just move to the VS code and get started. So I will create a new LWC component over here. Okay, now let me go ahead and copy just few things from the HTML file, like the, this one. So here we had the search input bar, right? And then we were displaying the results in the lightning data table. That is all we had in the template file. Okay, and we would be needing the same thing over here as well. The only additional thing that we would be needing is the button that I just showed you, right? This button. So what we'll do is let's just go ahead and first create this button. Okay. So after the input search bar, I'll go ahead and create this button. Let's give it a label as fetch accounts and on click. I'll define a function over here, which we would have to uh, implement in the JavaScript file. So here, let's just name it as button, handle button click. All right. Okay, so we have our template file. Now let's move to the JS file. And again, we would be needing similar things. So not exactly similar, but let me copy few things and then we can actually, or let's just not copy. Let's just type in everything. Doesn't matter. I'll just copy the import statement. Okay. So here I have to first give the this one, right? Because you would be needing the search value that you would be typing on the UI, correct? So I would have to implement this function. So here, let's just define a search value. Uh, the value will get from the event, right? The button click event, event dot, sorry, the on change event of the input search bar, right? So event dot target dot value. Let me just cross check if this is right or not. I believe it is. Yes, event dot target dot value, right? So Okay, now we'll have the value from the input search bar, right? Whatever the user would be providing. Now what we have to do is we have to write the imperative method and then call this particular method and then pass the parameter, right? The search key parameter into the into this particular method so that it will uh, make a SQL query based on the search key that we would, we would be passing from the JS file, all right? So now let's go to the HTML and uh, as I am reiterating again, that if you are using the imperative method, you would have to uh, 
uh, write the matter method based on some like you know uh, click action. So here we have created the button. Let me just implement this function. Okay, and then here we have imported the method from here. So we would have to define this. Okay, and here we would have to we have to pass the parameter all right so we'll pass the parameter later on let's just first gather the result and the error so and result and then if there's anything in result then this dot uh let's take another way property over here accounts so that we can store the result in accounts and also we can take the error so that like in you know, whatever i have in the result i can pass that to accounts and then if i have any error i can pass that to error property all right so this dot accounts i would be storing the result under this uh result catch if there is error then what do we have to do we have to uh second yes this dot error this is the property that we have defined here and error okay so every time the response will always return uh, re uh, return you like the imperative call i mean it always returns you promise and it has result and error all right so what I, all i'm doing is that i'm passing the result to my accounts property and then i'm passing the error to my error property so that if i want to use these on my html file i can all right so this is this is it now but here we are only calling the function right but what is the motive our motive is to pass the search value whatever user would be entering into this input search bar we have to pass that value to the uh to this method right to this method so that this let me just open this class and okay here so we have this method written over here right search account so here it is expecting a search key once you pass the search key from the js file right because you have the search key you have received the search key over here so you have to pass that in the method call so once you pass that parameter from here this method will receive the parameter right it will prepare the search value using the percentage operator with which you would need in order to apply for the like operator in the socal query and then it will make a query and it will return you the result as per the formed query okay and here i have put a limit of 5 that's okay if you want if you want to put some limit you can otherwise you can just leave it so so now we have to pass this parameter all right so here this is the call that i'm making so under this once you call this method you have to pass the parameter and this is how you can do it okay here uh, and here it is search key here i have given it a search key. let me take another name okay so that you will understand where to put what so keyword let me deploy this so this keyword will go over here so keyword and here what do we have to pass we have to pass the search key so in if you remember in when we were using the var adapter we were passing the value using the dollar sign right but here we have to pass it something like this okay this dot search key and we are passing that to this particular parameter which is being passed into this method okay so i think we should be good now so let's just again go and have a look i have my template file here i have a search bar i have a button of fetch accounts and then i have a data table okay and here i am displaying the okay so we don't have the columns over here uh because we haven't prepared the columns what we can do is we can prepare the columns so let me go i mean you can also just display the result without data table you can just use the round sorry the curly braces and then you can simply type in as accounts dot name or whatever like you know you want to display whatever you have fetched in the query but i want to display the result in the table so let me go ahead and uh, take the column from here uh 
again if you don't know uh, how columns are prepared i will just brief you so if you are uh, creating a lwc data table you need to prepare columns here you would be giving the label name and in the field name you would be giving the api name of the values whatever you want to display because lightning uh, lwc data table expects one of these um, attributes columns all right so that is why we are preparing columns so and once you have this columns you have to let's just assign another declare another property and pass this columns to this property because it is outside the class right so otherwise it won't be identified so okay i think now it's fine so let me go back to the html okay so we have the account we have accounts we have columns if i go back to the js i have prepared the columns and i have accounts and in accounts i am receiving the result okay and when i am calling this method i am passing the search key in the keyword and in the keyword when it will actually call the method over here in the keyword it will receive the value that was passed from here to js and then from js we had passed this particular parameter to the method call all right so let me deploy this component and let's copy the xml file Now let's just go and include this on the page. The name is pass parameter imperative. And I will remove this one. All is just this one be there. Pass parameter imperative and I'll keep it here. Okay. Or let me keep it here. Or I'll just keep it here. So here the table is not showing me any data right now. Okay. Because it will, uh, the, the search is the display results, right? Whatever we have written here, it is totally based on the button click. Okay. We are, when we are clicking on this button, we are, when we are clicking on this button, then only it is going and calling the method and passing the parameter and it will, it is returning you the SQL results. And then we are going back and displaying it on the HTML, right? So what we have to do is we have to provide some search text. So these are the existing accounts that I have in my system. So let me just type in something as, um, let's say university, and then I'll click on fetch accounts. Look, so wherever this UNI character is there, like, you know, it has displayed all of the results. And if I type in something as test, here it is, right? So this is how you can pass parameter using imperative method all you have to do is that you have to remember one thing either you can use a button click or you can also uh, implement this in connected callback which by default like you know load uh, like you know when your page is loaded all right so here i'm uh, doing it on a, on the click of a button and once we are calling the method we are this is how we are passing the parameter you have to give the whatever the parameter you have defined in your apex class that parameter you have to write first and then the value reference from your JS file here. I am, I am getting the value in the search key. That is why I am, I have written like this, uh, this dot search key. All right. So this was all about how to pass parameters from LWC to Apex controller method using imperative way. All right. I'll see you in the next session till then stay tuned. Bye-bye.